Hi, I'm Russell McKenna with Yada Yada. Has your child's eye ever looked like this? If so, check this video out. This is an example of orbital cellulitis. Periorbital cellulitis looks very similar. The difference between these two is whether it involves pain when they move the eye and decreased ability to move the eye. What causes periorbital cellulitis or orbital cellulitis? The most common causes of these types of infections would be three typical bacteria, staph, strep, and haemophilus influenza. Bacteria gets into the soft tissue around the eye either through trauma or most likely through a sinus infection. The most common symptoms of periorbital cellulitis would be swelling of the eyelids, redness of the skin around the eye, including the eyelids, and pain when you touch it. They also may have fever. There's some general discomfort of the eye itself. Orbital cellulitis, which is the more serious of these two infections, would involve some of the same symptoms, but they would include pain when they move the eye and decreased ability to move the eye. How are periorbital and orbital cellulitis diagnosed? The most common is a child who's had an upper respiratory illness, has some sinus pressure, started to get color change to their mucus, started to get face pain, then the eyelids start to swell and there's pain with moving their eye around. When we as pediatricians have a patient with this scenario, we have to act quickly. If we can determine that it's periorbital cellulitis, we need to quickly put them on an oral antibiotic. If we determine that it's orbital cellulitis, then we would need to most likely hospitalize them and place them on IV antibiotics for a time until their symptoms improve, and then they can have an oral antibiotic for a longer duration. Other things that we would do to treat this would be to do nasal rinses with a saline solution. We would do possibly nasal steroids, allergy medicine, along with decongestants like pseudoephedrine to decrease the mucus production, trying to help the sinuses open up and drain. Sometimes surgical drainage of the sinuses and any abscesses that may form behind the eye or around the eye is needed. Some of the possible complications that we see with orbital cellulitis is meningitis, loss of vision, and brain abscesses. These are very serious consequences of this illness, and so it's important to catch this and get the child to the right place and be aggressive with management of this disease process. The picture shown here is a child who got a sinus infection, got orbital cellulitis, had to be hospitalized, responded to IV therapy, and aggressive nasal decongesting and washing the nasal passage out with normal saline. And then six months later, it went to the other eye. The surgeons had never seen that. So if your child has an eye that looks like this and has had a cold and has eye pain, please take this serious and get them help. Thank you and good luck.